Today's interval is a seventh. We have two kinds of sevenths we're going to focus on today. A major seventh and a minor seventh. Okay, which one do you think is bigger? From previous classes, yes, you know that the major seventh is going to be bigger than the minor seventh. Okay, so here is C, and if I go all the way up to the 13th fret, I can find another C. That's an octave, eight notes. That's a major seventh. This will be the minor seventh. Okay, so counting the semitones, we start here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven semitones. And we have from C to B. From C, ten semitones is a minor seventh. The chord shapes for uh, major and minor sevenths are as follows. So for an octave, we would see this shape. A major seventh would be one fret lower than that, and it would look like this. And a minor seventh would be right here. So actually what we have here is C and C, C and B natural, C and B flat. Let's listen to what this sounds like with the fifth and the third in the chord. Here is a C major chord. Here is a C major seventh chord. And here is a C major with a minor seventh or a dominant seventh chord. Nice, isn't it? strings this would be different. For it's a second string, octave would look like this. Major seventh and minor seventh. So again, just a reminder, the distance between the third and second string is a major third. So that's the reason why from the fourth string to the first string we have a different shape. And that will also be the case when we go to the third and first string. So here we go again. This is an octave, major seventh, minor seventh. On the third and first string, octave, major seventh, minor seventh. So, okay, so now let's see how this actually works with a chord. So if I've got my octave and I add the note C sharp in the middle, that's this one here, I would have an A chord. But if I, on the top note, make this a major 7th, this becomes an A major 7th chord. And if I add the note G instead, this shape here is a minor 7th, so this becomes an A major chord with a minor 7th, or just simply an A 7th chord. Let's have a listen. If we do the this is a chord progression. A, A major seventh, A seventh. One more time. Okay, so if we include these notes in a chord, it changes the quality of the chord. So I'm just going to let you know, I have a major chord here. And if I lift this first finger, I will include the note B. And that will be a C major seventh chord. Okay. But if I include the note B flat, which would be here on the third string, third fret, I'll keep the C. 
Now I will have a major chord with a minor 7. So this chord, which we call a C major chord with a minor 7th, can also be just simply called C 7th. And it's commonly referred to as a dominant 7th chord. We'll come into that later. But in this particular case, you have now been introduced to two very, very important chords. The major 7th chord. That's an F major 7th chord. Nice and peaceful sound. But if I make those dominant 7th chords, I would have this sound. about just just the other day the tritone in the dominant seventh chord can you see it right there more about that and other seventh chords 